Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to RimWorld. So, when we last left off, we had some stuff going on here. Uh, we were attacked by some raiders, and we got pretty banged up. But, overall, we're sort of okay here. Longshanks is currently being punished for being hated by everyone by, you know, being forced to be naked, except for his little hat there. And I built up some stuff. I don't... I think this is how a catapult works, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't think this artillery shell, which I acquired, works with it. So, uh, we're also, um, we're being attacked. And, uh, fortunately, some fool blew up a boomalope, so... A lot of them are burned, to start with. So, that's reasonably good for me. Uh... We also have some defenses I've been working on building here. I have an extra layer of, uh, gun stuff. In fact, if you... Uh, we also have these murder holes, which, to be honest with you, are not that useful. Uh, not the way I have them set up right now, anyway. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Valencia, man, this... What's this? No nearby unre- Oh, these need shells too? Really? What kind of shells? Let's see here. Uh, storage chute that ejects boiling oil and contains burning wick. Proper term for such a device is something or other. Okay. Where do I make these things of burning oil? Is my question. I mean, not at a butchering table, surely. Each kibble, limbs... Oh, what was it? I saw something on one of these cooking things. One of the medieval ones where I could make something. And I can just build these whenever? Sign of Dagon, huh? Guardians of the Ma Deep May Roam. Alright. Basically put it in front of the main... There we go. Sign of Dagon. Why not? Bid Knowledge Center call... Wait. Have I always been able to just build this stuff? see here. Research. Visual all attire. Uh. Okay. Wait. Cipher strange symbols. Um. Hmm. I feel like something has gone wrong here. Probably when I was fiddling around with uh, god mode settings like, at, when I was setting up the beginning of this colony, just, you know, to get the whole town part done. Oh, well, at least we... At least we can hopefully shoot at people. And maybe kill something. Really? You're just gonna shoot your arrow at me? Like, okay. There we go. I figured. Alright, someone is, uh... Alright, they're just crossing the threshold over here, so I'm gonna have these guys... Attempt to shoot at these guys over here. Man, they are really... They're getting through this stuff much faster than I would have liked. Come on, you're at point-blank range. I didn't hit these guys. Should just have murder holes and stuff here on the sides. Because no one here has the defenses required to really do anything. Oh god, this guy's crawling over the wall. Get back. Uneaten! Run for it! Run! There we go. Alright, everyone seems to be getting over the walls, most unfortunately. Oh yeah, take this guy out. Take him out. There we go. That's right. You better run. Alright, let's, uh... Let us continue the shooting. Alright, Eaton, you, uh... You go out there. Also gonna order everyone get stripped, because off camera, I, I realized the mistake I was making with uh, having all my stuff outside. And as you can imagine. There we go. No one gets away alive. Oh god. Please uh, shoot this guy, not uh, him. Eaton. Tycho has been cut to death. 
You bastard! That was my last cow! Wait, never mind. Tycho is the bull. Son of a bitch. Hey, that's right, you beat him to death. Alright, go take this son of a bitch out. Okay, there you go. No, no, shoot at this one. There we go. You and your... Oh god, don't, uh... Okay, guys, could you, um, you know, maybe be a little bit rearm trap? So these are like deadfalls, except far less effective, as far as I can tell, in terms of, like, actual damage. Alright. Alright, you can, uh... Fleeing. No, I want you to fight when you're, uh, backed. This is probably going to come back to bite me at some point in the future, but... Alright, there you go. Go rearm the barricades if you don't mind. Hmm. I've got to be honest. Uh, this, this current setup is not actually that great, is it? You know what? Uh, reinstall over here. Yes. And, let's see, unreserve this, strip the corpse. All corpses will be stripped. Let's see, are you any good? What did we do to you? Uh, you're pretty burned. Rival died, friend died, in shock from exceptional pain. You're observing a bunch of corpses. You're really good at stabbing stuff. Be honest with you. Uh, you know what? What? You know what? We could rescue this person if we had a prison bed. So, where would be a good place to stick said prison bed? I don't even have a door here. I could just put it in here. It'll do for now, I guess. Silly as that may be. Yeah. Why did that instantly build? Oh god, that's what the problem is. I was fiddling around with something else and had god mode on. And I apparently forgot to turn that off when I came back to the game. Alright. Sorry about that. Yes. What are you doing? Oh yes, you're just rearming. You're just standing there. You don't need to do that. Oh, we have actually got two guys. I mean, god mode shouldn't have affected the outcome of the fight, I hope. I feel stupid for having that... Having not even noticed that was on. To be honest with you. But, uh, yeah. Actually, both of these guys are pretty, pretty decent. So, that's, that's good. I mean, I've got that going for us, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Set for prisoners. And set another prisoner bed in here, which will actually need to be built properly this time. I was wondering what was going on. I knew I shouldn't have had that access to that. Remove this symbol of Dagon. I'm not supposed to have it yet. Yeah, I haven't unlocked this, the research. All right, good. I thought I said to reinstall this. Oh, well, it's been set, so I guess that's okay. Yeah, because then people can walk around. Which is kind of the point of this. I've actually changed it up. I tore down the uh, me medieval madness embrasures and put the, uh, the other ones I have, which are impassable. So people can climb these ones, but not these ones. Which fits what I want out of that. There's also this person who's still alive. We'll just... I could let you die, I guess. I mean... I suppose. We also have this dead boomalope, which apparently thanks to the rain, it did not die. Wow, there's actually a lot of people who survived here. Uh... Nah. Might as well just, uh, let them die and... Fix their stuff up. Oh, also that reminds me. I, I really should mark some more animals for hunting, shouldn't I? I feel like ostriches and the like are going to result in horrible, horrible death for me. But who knows? Alright. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, in case you were wondering, I had god mode on for another thing because I was testing uh, building and stuff. And I thought I had turned it off before actually, like, properly starting this episode, but apparently not. Oh god, and the ostriches are going for revenge. Why? Oh, for the love of all those good Come on. 
Why can you not shoot this thing? Oh. Why can you not shoot this thing? You have no injuries. For a decent shot. Sort of. Oh, I've stripped people who are still alive. Oh. There we go. And uh, please rearm the trap. All right. You know, I've got to be honest, these barricades don't actually seem to cause any damage whatsoever. So I should actually just replace them, I think. I mean, they're kind of good because, like, their purpose is to slow people down. My god, these turbines break down way too often. Major break risk from Hudson. Why is that? What's the problem, Hudson? You're pretty bruised. You attacked a preacher. Oh. And you were also insulted. Gotta be honest, considering the fact that no real cultist activities has been going on, kind of annoys me how much, uh, why, why are the, you putting corpses in here? I thought I said no corpses in this particular zone. No corpses. Alright. I wouldn't butcher that corpse. It's also still extremely dark. So, I'll have to do something about that by the by. It's like we also need to get rid of all these corpses by the by, but everything will take care of itself sooner or later. Uh, let's see. I mean, you're good enough that I would probably... I mean, it probably makes sense to strip them naked anyway. That way they have less stuff. Oh, also, I suppose I should rescue... This guy. Uh, capture Pierce. I mean, he's a warrior. He'll fit right into the colony, probably. Actually, probably before doing that. Hang on. Can't even look at him now. It's too late. It's too late. Wait. I'll just do this. Pierce. Uh, excuse me, good sir. Let's see here. Uh, infection. Infection. You're losing vast amounts of blood. Urgently hungry. Alright, you know what? We can probably still pull this off. We'll have to get Kimmy to immediately get up and rescue him. But uh, you've also been bitten and you're bleeding to death slowly but surely. That is less, uh... Less than ideal, but I'm sure that is the kind of blood loss that will at some point solve itself. Oh, you're... you're I don't care about you, Longshank. Hudson is healed, Valentina is healed. We're healing up our good buddy here. Who, uh... I mean, I'll let him have herbal access to herbal medicine. Assuming we have any. And we've lost access to the lights again. Wonderful. And the lights are back. Alright. Uh, you know what? I don't think these batteries are actually hooked to anything. They are not. Alright. We have no backup batteries for times when there's no wind. And we haven't gotten around to repairing this wind turbine yet. A lot of busy work, really. A lot of terrible clothes as well. Man, everything's in terrible condition. It's awful. But you know what? I will... Let's see here. Uh, turn off power. I suppose what I should do is just build ev like steel gas lamps everywhere instead of these lights. It's just that these lights don't require components. Hmm. But then again, I guess that's the trade-off. These require components, but don't actually require power. And, uh... Yeah. Plus, they're kind of brighter. Sort of. I feel like at some point I want to kill these... These elephants. What about you? What are, what are your stats? Pretty good at stabbing stuff. You're also pretty good at stabbing stuff. I mean, it would be good. And plus, they're not incapable of anything. Maybe I will rescue you. And let's see, which one's better or in less bad shape? You have a bite scar. You have some burns and in major infections. Okay. Matthias, go capture a seer if you don't mind. There we go. Alright, so really all these uh, barricades do is just slow people down, is what I'm what I'm seeing here. And I'm going to want to look into what exactly uh, these are, like, are, is required for these. I'm, 
I'm clearly missing something. I mean, apparently they require... Shells? No unreserved shells. So there must be some kind of shell, I mean, as the name kind of implies, that I have not yet learned how to make. Anything like medieval shells? No. So that probably means, if I go under here, under production, one of these forges or something is probably what makes it. So I want to look into that. What's this? Stone quarry. Stone quarry equipped with various tools used for the production of various types of stone chunks. That's pretty good. We have a gardening box, also pretty good, I guess. All right, yeah, I'll want to look into that off camera to see what I need to make shells, because obviously I would rather have more shells than less. All right, Hudson, don't forget to haul this stuff in when you're done. You are going to haul it in, right? You're not just going to leave? What are you doing? No, 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 no. Don't leave my hops lying around. Incidentally, that's what I'm working on brewing towards right now. After that, we're going to get into the cult stuff. So, yeah. Overall, I am reasonably happy with the progress this colony is experiencing thus far. Um, however, yeah, Longshank is sleeping outside because nobody wants him. Poor guy. I mean, he's hated by everyone, so, I mean, he brought it upon himself, probably. And let's see. Let's mine out all this. I do need to make more stone chunks when the time comes available. I do want more. And I do seem to be building them up, so that's a good thing. Which means I could probably build a proper house for long shanks now if I really wanted to. The question, of course, is if I really want to. I'll at least make some effort to start building something or other. We'll worry about the rest later. Anyway, it's dark as night, so we'll hover over here. I mean, I like the aesthetics of these lights with uh, realistic darkness. Uh, just clearly, for a start where I'm relying on these, I need to make sure that we have more components. Braziers, those are pretty sweet. Overall, pretty nice. I mean, I like realistic darkness, but at the same time, it might not be for, uh, for the kind of colony I've got going right now, in the sense that, you know, there's not really a well-developed ecosystem. Also, those raids are really big, which I, I assume is because, um, like, as I said at the beginning, I did kind of god mode in the initial stuff, just... Because I wanted to get the town going so we could actually get into the action and the meat of uh, this mod sooner. And plus, pigs join. Okay, just a bunch of random pigs. Alright. I mean, go for it. Wait, can pigs learn stuff? Holy crap, I can teach them to haul? I mean, that could be useful. I'll be honest with you. Also, uh, I'm going to continue marking stuff off to hunt, because we will... I mean, we seem to be pretty good, and what's the point, even, of having pigs, aside from killing them and cooking them into bacon? These are good questions. It also occurs to me, since I was wondering uh, what... Let's see here. Oh, but here's the question. Would the Advanced Forge, does it do everything that the first tier does? Let's see. Armor's tools. Actually, if I click on information, will it tell me? Weapons, armor, and tools. All right, improved forge. Uh, wood fueled station, wood armor and tools. Uh, wood armor and tools. All right. I mean, I don't really know. They all require the same. They all require the same thing. Let's uh, let's just build this and see as we kind of wrap this episode up. Hmm. I want to know if there's a specific type of shell I require. I have to assume there is. Let's see, plates, bows. Oh my, there's all kinds of stuff here. Uh, let's see. Valid. 
Death Mask, that sounds pretty badass. Pitchfork, Handsicle, One-Handed Mace. Nope, just weapons. All right, well, let's see. Corpse Bonfire. Ooh. That, uh, that sounds like fun. I mean, who wouldn't want that? I and mean, it wouldn't be at the smelter, would it? Would it be the crafting station? Various tools, necessities, and trade goods. All right. Let's try that instead. Matthias, get to work. Excellent. I'm going to need an indoor storage room at some point. We're also not really getting a lot of trade going by, so that's also mildly unfortunate. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. Explosive pots and quick lime pitch. Shrine to the random number god, you say. Well, that wouldn't be the worst thing we can make. Do it until you have 10. What's required for these, anyway? A steel quick lime pitch storage pot. Okay, where... I have to make all these things individually? Sounds like a lot of work. Actually, I guess the way I'll set it is like this. And quick line pitch, do until you have 10. All right, what, is el what else is required? Six steel. Man. That's pretty brutal. Anyway, okay, so, all right, never mind. I managed to figure it out myself after bumbling around for like 5,000 years. I, we're getting there, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, I always figure things out. Slowly. Pigs produce milk. And who milked the cow but didn't actually haul the milk? Like, come on. Come on. That's just uncalled for. It's just poor hygiene. And look at all this stuff we've got here. Wooden plates. Steel plates. A lot of really poor stuff going on here. Of course, we have whispers going on over here. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mine out some kind of storage room, which I guess we might as well put right here. Alrighty then. Seven by eight should be big enough for now. Oh my god, another raid already? Who are these guys? Well, this isn't good. Man, let's see. Male archer of... These are tribals, right? Okay, they're tribals. And their location means that hopefully most of them go around this way. I really should build like a door here. In fact, let's do that now before I wrap this episode up, just so I remember to do it later. In fact, I should have doors on all these things, just to hopefully encourage raiders to attack this way, because it's like you know, the most open door to do it in. And everyone is healed up from the last raid, right? I hope so. Uh, so many pieces of clothing just lying around here. All right. Go here. Oh, and you're already right here. That, that works out okay, I guess. Anyway, I'm terrified. I am absolutely terrified. Uh, just because we're in a terrible position, all told. All right, are they immediately attacking? Yes, they are immediately attacking. Like, look at them. Look at how many of these guys there are. At least they appear to be just tribals. I mean, like, they've got this armor on and stuff, which scares the crap out of me, but they're relatively weak, it would seem. All right, everyone is in position. We're lining up, getting ready, watching for targets. They are, uh, oh God, most of them are coming this way. What, what are you doing, Matt? Why did you not bring everything you needed in the first place, you idiot? You're gonna get us killed. In fact, this is... Like, that blunder alone is probably the end of the colony. God damn it. Absolutely useless. I mean, granted, I, I could have done a much better job at making sure we were prepared to begin with. He just reached right over like that. That's, that is ridiculous. How did you immediately... All right, you, uh, you pull back. Oh, God. Get out of there. 
retreat. It also sounds like someone's, uh, are you, are you serious? Do you, uh, you know, maybe run for your life? Are you attacking my pigs? They're killing, they're killing my pigs. Those bastards. Eaton, could you, uh, maybe come over here and take care of these guys? All right, uh, these guys seem to have been taken care of as well. Chicken. I hope one of them accidentally shoots uh, an elephant and then it kills them all. So many corpses, what a waste. What an absolute waste. My poor pigs. Ah, Targa! All my poor animals. Are you kidding me? You couldn't make that shot at that range. Uh, Hudson, you better run. Like, run, run and hide, Hudson. Was that a... You were punched once and you died? Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. I swear to God. Aphis, what the hell are you doing? Poor Hudson. So young. These bastards, they don't deserve my mercy. Kill them all and let God sort it out, I guess. The random number God, that is. All right, let's see here. You are, you've developed immunity. That's good. All right, prisoner. Uh, we will try to recruit you. You are also a prisoner. We will try to recruit you as well. Hopefully. He'll kill them. Kill the heretic. Especially before he can do any damage to my stuff. All right. Well, we're going to have to build a sarcophagus for Hudson here. All right. Strip her naked because we can use her clothes. And then go ahead and where is the sarcophagus? Build a nice limestone sarcophagus. Which, uh... I guess I'm going to have to place it and then we'll build... Like a tomb around it, I suppose, is the way to go about things. Uh, where would be a good spot to build it? I guess just up here in this corner. There we go. Poor Hudson. She deserved better. I'm sorry I failed you. But that's going to do it for this episode. So until the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next video.